radian measures and trigonometric ratios. The terminal arm of an angle in standard position passes through minus 3, 5. Find the radian value of the angle in the interval 0 to 2 pi to the nearest hundredth, nearest hundredth. Okay. So, for this, let's try to figure out where the point is on our coordinate plane. So this is the coordinate plane, minus 3, 5. Minus 3, 5 means that the point is in quadrant 2, correct? So we can take a point, minus 3, 5, in quadrant 2 and draw our triangle. Let's say that's our triangle. And the point given to us is minus 3, 5, correct? Now that means... Let me make a right triangle here. Now, when they say, find the radian value of the angle in this interval to the nearest 100, which angle we are talking about? I have seen students getting confused over the angle which they are talking about. Well, really, the angle here is the angle which we call principal angle, which is from the initial arm to the terminal arm. That's the angle. Let's call this angle as theta. So this is the angle which is required, okay? Always, whenever you have angle in standard position, then your initial arm is along the x-axis, positive x-axis, and that's the terminal arm, correct? So the angle between initial and the terminal arm is the angle of our interest. Now, why the interval is 0 to 2 pi? Well, you this could be the angle within... 0 to 2 pi. But if I increase the interval to 4 pi, then another angle will be, you can go one full circle additional, right? And then this much. So that means think about this arm going one full circle and then coming to that position. Correct? So it will be 2 pi plus whatever we are getting now. Okay? So that is how you need to see it. There are some related questions which could be asked from here. And those could be in which quadrant it is? It is in quadrant 2. Now, the, if trigonometric ratios in quadrant 2 will be what? You know, sine will be positive and the others will be negative. So, what you can do is, once you find the angle or even otherwise, you can find the exact value of the trigonometric ratios for this position. Okay, now let's get back to the problem. Now, how to find this angle theta? To find this angle theta, we can find the related acute angle. Related acute angle is the angle which the terminal arm makes with the horizontal. In this case, that is the related acute angle. Correct? And let this angle be alpha. So I'll normally put alpha as my related acute angle. Related acute angle is always between 0 and 90. Right? Acute angle. That's the whole thing. Now, to find related acute angle from a coordinate, easiest way is say tan alpha is equal to y over x value of the coordinate. And don't bother about the sign. Why not to bother about the sign? Because what we really consider is this triangle in quadrant 1. Think as if with this triangle is in quadrant 1, okay? That is in this coordinate. Okay? Think like this. Okay? Don't bother about sine at the moment. Take it as an independent triangle with adjacent side as 3. Well, this is minus 3 and the opposite side is 5. five. Okay? So we have tan alpha is equal to y over x. So we can write this as tan alpha equals to y value is 5. 5 over 3. Okay? And alpha will be equals to tan inverse of 5 over 3. Use your calculator to figure out the value. Say second function tan inverse within bracket 5 divided by 3 equals to 1.030. Okay. So alpha equals to 1.0303. That's the value of alpha which you get. 
To find theta, what should we do? Theta is 180 minus alpha or pi minus alpha. Correct? So theta will be this from 0 to x axis going negative, it is pi degrees, pi radian, sorry. So theta is going to be pi minus alpha. So let's do it pi minus 1.030. Since we need 100th position, I'm just taking three places at present. So do pi minus 1.030, which gives me 2.111. So I can round this to nearest place, which is 2 point nearest hundredth is 1, 1. So that is my angle alpha, which is between 0 to 2 pi and the answer for this question. Okay.